Hey, happy fabulous Friday. It's actually a long weekend for me because I, um, what's it called? Uh, hopefully I'm on because I work for the federal government. And so we have a three day weekend. I know not everyone gets that day, but I do and I'm so excited. So yeah, so come on. There we go. No. Make sure I can open it. There. There we go. I am live. Okay, good. So happy fabulous Friday. Check out my new ears. I got these ears um, at the discount. Uh, the outlet. We have a Disney outlet here in San Marcos, just outside of San Antonio. And my friend Wendy, my cute friend Wendy, took me there. I have been wanting these corduroy ears, mainly because of the color. I love the green. It's such a good green. It actually reminds me of Pear Pizzazz, which is the color from Stampin' Up. And look at the cute plaid. I think these were fall ears, probably. But, um, and I think they still have them online, but they were on clearance at the Disney outlet. And then I got an extra 25% off on top of that. So it was a pretty good score, I feel like, for my little Disney excursion. Um, so I had a gift card to spend and it was burning a hole in my pocket. So anyway, well, we're gonna try this again. So hopefully you will get to see the Peter Pan card that I made for you guys for Monday, but I could not seem to get the um, the video to be clear enough. So I'm hopefully it works now. So anyway, I hope you're having a fabulous Friday and I hope you have Monday off. So let's go ahead and turn it down. Make sure it can stay flat. That's the host code for this month for January in case you wanna buy anything. Um, uh, just let me know. There we go. I needed to go back a little bit. Um, sorry. There we go. Um, so we're going to be using this paper. If you guys saw a snippet of our Monday video, we're gonna be using this paper, which is called, I think something in prints, yeah, sun prints. And I really wanted to use this particular paper here because it reminds me of the night sky, you know? And you remember how the sailboat in Peter Pan like sails off into the sky, it's a whole, you know, scene. I thought that that would be a fun, version. The other version, just so you know, because uh, I did another Peter Pan card before. If you guys watch my videos all the time, you might have seen it. I also had this option here, which this card, this sheet here is from the, what's it called? Abstract Beauty paper. And it's like 48 sheets of this four by six paper. It's on clearance right now for only, I think like $6. Um, and I did a bunch of cards with this before and I happen to have some more, but, um, and I almost used this paper. So if you guys wanted a cheap alternative to the sun prints, or maybe you just didn't like this particular paper, this is another good option with a ton of gold up in it, which I just love that it little touches of gold on, on most of the sheets, which is pretty cool. All right, so if you tuned in on Monday for a minute, you would have seen, that I was trying to create this cute card using the new on the ocean stamp sets and dies. And what, I just had a terrible time. It like kept, um, I think there, there was an update that came through today. So hopefully that helped because the last time I had such a hard time with using my phone um, for, my stamping it meant I had to bid it, get a new phone because my phone was just too old um, so we're gonna be using the Sun Prince paper we're gonna be making this cute card which I love I love ships I didn't realize how much I loved ships until I you know when I see any water related um, uh, I feel like when I see any kind of water related stamp sets, I tend to gravitate toward them. I clearly love the ocean 
and the water, um, maybe because I'm a swimmer, maybe because I'm from California. My dad was in the Navy. Maybe that's why I love ships. I'm not quite sure. Same with my grandfather, but, um, and so the dyes will cut out the sails. They'll cut out the boat. They'll also cut out, um, the mast. Um, so if you wanted to have a different color sails than the mast, you can like, flip uh add more detail to it. it adds more layers as well as the waves here which would be really cool to use on another um card and this is for the anchor so and now the skull is a larger skull it will not fit on the flag there's a little flag that's right here the ship is also right here we're going to be using um the ship i just put it in my little cubby here so i wouldn't lose it um and there's a little flag that we're going to use today so I'm going to set this aside for a sec and let's go ahead and get out my stamp cut and emboss. By the way, I don't know if you guys know, some of you guys might already be demonstrators, but if you are not a demonstrator and you would like one of these machines, um, you can, you can buy it for $63, I believe. Or right now they have a deal where if you join my team which you know there's no obligation when you join my team but when you join my team you get one of these you can either get a white one or an exclusive blue one um, for you can get one of these and you get a hundred and seventy five dollars worth of products for a hundred and twenty nine dollars and you get a free paper pumpkin and you get free shipping all for $175, which is insane. I had no idea. Oh, I needed to stamp. My bad, I got my machine out. Um, uh, I was so shocked when I saw that deal because it's pretty unheard of when you really think about it to see such a large, um, such a good deal like that. Um, we don't do it too often. So I would take advantage 100% and go for it and it, there's no obligation now we do have meetings and crafting things and crafting meetings if you want to go to them that's fun uh if not you can just participate in even the challenges like we have little prizes and challenges every month come on just need to get that little center having a hard time getting it here let me stamp it make sure maybe I'm just being paranoid see this is kind of like a distinctive stamp I think no it might not be distinctive we'll see yeah it is a distinctive stamp where it has um it has a lot of texture on it so sometimes it's hard to tell if you've inked the whole thing because there's a ton of texture on it now I've done it okay cool done oh that was a good one um and so yeah i know right no not a full paper pumpkin subscription sylvia but it's 175 dollars, and you get one free paper pumpkin and but if you wanted to do a one of those six month or a year paper pumpkin subscription that would be counted in your 175. So, and you get this machine and you get all the paper pumpkin subscription and you could buy maybe a few extra blocks or a few extra other things if you wanted. Um, but I thought that was a really good deal. Um, yeah, 175, you get this machine, you get all of the little pieces that go with this machine. You get to pick out $175 worth of product or one of those prepaid subscriptions, which you love, you know, cause that's like a really good deal. Um, and then you also of course get a discount on any of your paper pumpkins in the future, any of that stuff, like any other things you wanna get, uh, you get a discount. And so that's my other thing. And I just think it's fun, you know, like I think it's fun just being a part of the community and we craft and we share our crafts and I just find that to be fun. Holly is on my team and we have a meeting once a month and you know we just get together and chat she's my main person on my team but then we have a larger team meeting with candy and we have prizes and challenges every month and drawings and 
I don't know. She just really takes care of us as a higher up line. She's like number 30 or something in the company. She's a really, really top, you know, seller, which isn't really my goal to be like one of those super top sellers. That'd be awesome. But it's not necessarily a my number one goal. I just like making pretty things with paper, you know? And so I kind of just stick with that for now. Um, all right, so now I'm gonna do the little flag. And this month's paper pumpkin that's coming out uh, has dies with it if you order the dies, which has never happened. We've never had it where you could get dies with it. That was a new, that was a surprise. I was shocked when I saw that. That's a new thing. I thought that was kind of a cool thing to try. It's a little frog that'll cut out and it coordinates with the rainy day paper that's in this uh, celebration. You'll be getting your catalog any day, Sylvia. I sent it out today. I had to wait till I got paid. Um, see, I'm not one of those super high sellers. You know, I'm just kind of a basic seller. So I have to, I have a budget and I, I'm, you know, it's like preach just, I know, you know, so I keep my, try to keep to my budget. So, um, all right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stamp, I'm gonna use Pacific Point. No, Knight of Navy. I'm gonna use Knight of Navy to stamp the water. And then I'm going to use, I have this out as my uh, extra scrap. I'm gonna use Knight of Navy to stamp the water. And these are distinctive. Oh, what I meant by I know, right? I mean, it really is a good deal, Sylvia, if you wanted to join my team. And of course, you would get a discount and, you know, there's no obligation, anything beyond that. If you choose, when I started, that's how I started, actually. I just wanted to, um, I just wanted to, the discount and the free stuff. I got a bunch of free stuff when I signed up. It was, I think mine was only like 150, 170 is like crazy. Let me make sure this is working. Yeah, it's not inking. Something must be wrong. Maybe I'm not, maybe I need to put some ink on here. Maybe I left it open and I didn't know it. I might have left it open. Yeah, I might have left it open. Let me press a little harder. Um, and so when I signed up, I just wanted the free stuff. And so I, oh, no, that's a little too much, I think. Something's wrong. I'm going to grab a little ink spot because something's wrong. It's not inking. I think it might have dried. Um, let me grab an ink spot real quick. I'm pretty sure I have a Knight of Navy ink spot from when I used to have the, you know, from when I used to use the, you know, um, I only had these for the longest time. It's so weird that it's not coming out completely. So I'm gonna ink it here and see. Even though this is old, it might have a little more ink. I think I left it open. Let's try it. That'll be better. Gosh, I'm it's so weird. I'm just having the, hard the hardest time with it. I think I need to ink both of them up. Let me clean it off and see. Something's up. Something is up with this ink. And see, there's plenty of ink on there now. So, hmm, we'll see. Sorry for the delay. So when I signed up, all I wanted was a bunch of free stuff. That's all I wanted. And I signed up. And then I wound up staying a demonstrator because of the fact that I just had so much fun and I loved my discount and I love doing the paper pumpkins. I was like you, Sylvia. I started out with just paper pumpkins because that's all I wanted. And of course, I bought some blocks. Eventually, I started doing some classes with my friends. But, um, you know, I've never been super huge at doing all that. Um, I'm, I'm kind of a hobby demonstrator, I feel like. Okay, that worked. I think I just wasn't, I don't know, something was wrong. Maybe I just needed to clean the stamp. It was really giving me a hard time. Sorry about that. Um, and the Native Navy ink spot was still good, but I think maybe I just needed to clean it. Maybe there was something like a layer of cleaner or something stuck on it. Um, so I stamped my waves at an angle. I wanted it at an angle on purpose because I want to put my ship at an angle as well. 
And then we're gonna go ahead and take the Pacific Point, which is a lighter, brighter blue than the Knight of Navy, as you can see. Um, and we're gonna be using that. And so I love our little team. Holly is my little team, which is exciting to have a team. But um, Candy does these drawings every month where we can, like I can enter this card, I can take a picture of it. And when it meets a criteria, I can enter it into, um, I wanna go as light as possible. And so I'm gonna put one cloud here and one cloud here. This is called stamping off. Um, this is called stamping off. So, <clears throat> What it means is you just keep getting a lighter and lighter shade the more you stamp on your paper. And I might even get one more stamp and see how faint it is there. Um, it's still just super, super faint. And it's just to get that last little touch. All right, let me set this aside for a second. And let me see. Oh, and I wanted to take my little, I need a small piece of, that's too narrow, a vanilla. These are strips that come off when I'm trimming my paper. And I think this one is just wide enough. I'm pretty sure it is, because I think it's the same size. Yep, that's the one. I thought I had another one out, but. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna use Pacific Point for my little sentiment. Adventure is, hoping this year is full of adventure and excitement. I'm stamping it to the left here. And then I'm just gonna trim off a little tiny bit and we'll put it on the card. I'm just gonna use my scissors. I won't do anything fancy with it. Okay, we're done with my sentiment. We're done with my cloud. A lot of stamps today. And okay, our flag. On our little flag, what I wanna do is A little skull this skull is so tiny but it is the cutest little thing I just can't resist it oh it's starting to do it again darn it well hopefully it is not choppy for you guys it's certainly choppy for me but hopefully not for you I'm just gonna go ahead and keep going with our card and the pieces right here. So on Monday, I'd already glued these sheets together. So this is a four and a quarter um, by uh, 11 piece of cardstock, and I scored it at five and a half. And this is a four inch by five and a quarter piece of um, Pacific Point. And then this is three and three quarters by five. And this is the part I put together on Monday, and then the computer just was not participating with me and just giving me a real hard time. And then we've got our stamps, okay, good. All right, so the inside, on the inside, what I thought would be fun is if I did a little, I had an idea. I wanted to do happy birthday on the inside. So here's what I wanna try. And then I wanna try and see if I can put the skull in the center. I think I can. Yeah, that's gonna work. Okay, that's gonna be cute. All right, so I'm gonna stamp off my Pacific Point. I'm gonna stamp it off one time and in the corner of my paper, I'm gonna put my little uh, wheel, you know, um, I, I don't know exactly, I think it's just the helm of the ship. Uh, all right. Uh, la, la, la. And then I'm gonna take my little skull and I'm gonna stamp it in the center of the little wheel. And so we've got the little skull in the center. It's just fun. I thought that was fun. And then I want to add happy birthday just above it. So I have happy birthday and the little 
um, the little wheel and that's it. Oh, I think it's blinking because I'm getting messages. So, okay, so let's go ahead and glue this on the inside, then I'll do the outside. I didn't do the do not disturb, which I normally do. Oh, thanks. Oh, it's not choppy for you? Okay, good. Maybe it's just choppy for me. Thank you so much, Marsha. Because, yeah, it was it was blinking. And I'm like, oh, gosh. On, on Monday, I, it was blinking so much I couldn't even see what I was doing. So it was just not good. Um, all right. So then we're also going to center this on the front. So this piece of cardstock, let me measure it again. I think it's two. Oh, no. Yeah, it's two and three quarters. I thought it was two and a half. So it's two and three quarters by, oh, it is, okay. Uh, by four and a half. Okay. So it is causing problems for you guys too. Okay. Turn it. Okay. Sorry about that guys. I might have to just do another one later, but I'm going to finish the card because you know, I didn't do it. I'll finish it on Monday. I'm just going to finish it. Okay, Sylvia, so it is giving problems to other people too. I thought it might have been just me. But... All right, I'm gonna center that. And so you've got your waves, you've got your um, your little uh, ship or and your clouds. Then I'm gonna take my dimensionals and I'm gonna chop these up. Uh, just chop up the edges. It's really common. Um, I'll use all the edges of my dimensionals and I'm putting a lot on here because I do wanna make sure that, oh, you know what, before I put the ship down, I learned this the hard way. I wanna make sure that my sentiment's gonna fit. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my sentiment right here because I almost put the ship so far where I couldn't put the sentiment earlier on, on the card before. I'm just using my eyes to snip off. Now you can use your cutter if you need to. If you wanna use your cutter, you can. And I'm putting dimensionals on the back of this. And I'm gonna put it just, I don't want it too far down to the edge. I don't want it to match the white but I don't want it to be, uh, I don't want my ship because what was happening is I had, oh, I had stamped my waves too far down. I had stamped my waves too far down and that made it hard for me to get the ship on here. And then to add my little, oh, I need a few more uh, dimensionals, hold on. I'm just gonna snip a little tiny piece off. I need one dimensional to help make sure my flag can stay up. So I'm gonna put a little dimensional on the back of the mast here, just at the top, to make sure I can add my flag. I did it the other way first, where I put the, um, I think I need to move my dimensional, there we go. I did it the other way first, where I put everything down and then tried to put the flag and it didn't work. So I want it to be right there. Okay. I don't know if the video holds, maybe the Facebook video will hold. I'll watch it again later, you guys. Make sure. Oops. I'm gonna pop that right. Yeah, because I want it at an angle. There. Then for the Tinkerbell, I had the cutest idea. I decided to use the faux sea glass, and I'm gonna use one of these tiny um 
little stones on the left because they look very triangular. And you know how Pink Tinkerbell, sometimes when you see her in the movie, she's just like a little dot. Oops, especially at a distance. So I'm gonna use just one tiny faux sea glass, but it needs to be the one that's on the far left that's real pointy, because it's it's a very lime green. Um, I think it's actually matching um, the parakeet party is the color of it. And so it's so cute. And then what I did was I wanted to add a little bit of glitter so I'm taking my uh, Wink Estella and you shake it up a little bit. And I'm just going to paint a little swirl. And so you just paint it and that's it. I just do it one time. So I practiced it by the way, before I got to you guys, I practiced it. And then I'm putting a little bit of Wink Estella just on the top and the left side of each sail. And I put some right here on this pointy thing. I don't know what that's called. And I put some here and on the top and the side. Just, just adding a little bit. You know what, I think I'll add a little bit to the waves. Okay. And so it adds this tiny bit of sparkle. If you guys don't have this tool, let me hold it up close, make sure you guys can see. So let's see if it's showing. It's hard to see. The Wink Estella adds this little bit of glitter. Oh, it's hard to see the part for um, the, it's hard to see the part for the Tinkerbell, but the Tinkerbell, you can when you see it up close, it goes in one loop this way, it goes in one loop that way, and then it connects to, oh, it connects to the actual little stone. And then I also wanted to paint the stone with a little bit of Wink Estella so it had a little bit more glitter on it. So just to add a little extra glitter to make sure it looked magical. And then I just let it dry. And then I was gonna stamp on the envelopes. I stamped the little um, skull because he's so cute. I just love the skull. Um, the skull is my favorite. It's a little bit small for an envelope, but I'm okay with that. You know me, I always love to stamp my envelopes. I just think it's so cute. I kind of like that it's so tiny. It'd be good for a little treat box, actually, like at Halloween. There's a lot of potential with this stamp set to do different, like you could definitely do some Halloween things with that skull. All right, so this is our card. Here's the first one. Maybe on this one you can see the wink is still a little bit better. Maybe not. I don't know, it's, but there's this little bit of Wink Estella that adds just a little bit of glitter to it so that you can see a little glitter on the ship and this little bit of glitter that's trailing off to the Tinkerbell. And so I just thought it was a fun card. So that's our card for today and nothing really extravagant as far as the layout, but I still love a good theme I should have stamped the skull first and then I should have stamped the skull first and then tried to cut it out but I forgot I made that mistake on this one too this one looks better but it's a, the skull is a little crooked I'm trying to get it straight there we go um so yeah so that's our card so it required the sun print paper knight of navy pacific point and this is, uh, I said it was two and three quarters by four inch white. And then this is soft suede ink, Knight of Navy ink. This is Pacific Point ink, but I stamped it off three times. And then I stamped it on the card twice. So this is a lighter shade of that. And so that's how I got so much color on it. Um, yeah. And so that's about it. Nothing too... Um, extravagant, but I still thought it was such a fun card. 
That's true. It's not straight. You're right, Michelle. And so, yeah, I just thought that was a fun little card to try for you guys today. And, um, yeah, I appreciate you guys checking out my video. And here's my tiny envelopes that go with it. So, yeah. And the faux sea glass to me was like genius in my brain. In my brain, that was the best thing ever was because I'm like, I feel like it needs something. And I kept going round and round. And I almost put the Tinkerbell on the ship, but I thought it was going to be kind of, I don't know, look weird to have it on the ship. And so having it out there in the air and it's in this little tiny triangle shape, it looks like a tiny little hint of a Tinkerbell. So I hope you guys are having a great, fabulous Friday and thank you so much. This is Tinkerbell right here, this little green piece, Michelle. This little green faux scene glass, it's the inspiration of Tinkerbell. And so there's, uh, and there's Wink Estella here. You tuned in a little bit. I put some Wink Estella, like a trail, to show that that was uh, Tinkerbell. Yeah. And so, yeah, I thought, cute, right? And so I thought, that's a fun. And if you look at my page for Fabulous Stamper, I have an image with the ship floating up in the sky. And that's from Mary Blair. She's a really famous Disney artist. And she did Cinderella, like all the original Cinderella designs. And so naturally I love her. Um, and she also helped with Peter Pan. And so her picture that's on my page is so cute. So yeah, so that's our little, I wish you guys could see the Wink Estella. It's kind of annoying that it won't show up, but oh, you know what, let me turn on this light and see if that helps. Or actually, let me turn on that light. There we go. Let me turn on that light. I wonder if that helps. There we go, a little bit. Let's see. See a light, there we go. You can see like a little trail coming off the ship there. That is the glitter of Wink Estella that goes up to the Tinkerbell. There we go. I just needed a different light for you guys. And then um, if you clap loud enough, you <laughs> <laughs> she won't die anyway it's like you can see her glitter anyway I'm just sorry um and so yeah and then you can see the glitter on the on the ship is a little easier but that tiny bit in the white was a little hard up close you can see it but yeah it's just a couple loop-de-loops but I practiced because sometimes using the wink of Stella this is called wink of Stella and sometimes using it can be tricky because it is a brush and it has glitter inside it and so what can sometimes happen if you squeeze this a little too strongly and you go to brush, you could swish a big old blob of glitter onto your card. So you kind of want to practice a little bit first. I was actually lucky that it didn't do that this time because, you know, sometimes if I'm not paying attention, it, you know, it'll have it. So it's good to practice on a scrap piece of paper um, just before you use it. So that's it. That's our card. Thanks for clapping, Michelle. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. Thanks for always being so supportive. And don't forget, if you join my team by the end of February, $175, you can get, for $129, you get one of these, either in blue or white, while supplies last for the blue, because the blue is limited, um, in blue or white, with all the pieces that go with it. And then you can also choose $175 worth of product, whatever you want. And um, you also get one free paper pumpkin, just one, and free shipping. And so it's a pretty good deal for, uh, you get $261 worth of product is the total that I figured out for only $129. Now, if you don't want one of these machines, if you don't want one of these machines, it's $99 and you get $175 worth of product. So you could do the other option, like maybe you already have this machine, you could do 99 for 175. And so uh, $175 worth of product, it's pretty amazing. So, but in the end, it's actually more than that. You'd actually be getting 200 and, yeah, 200 about $198 worth of product for uh, $100. And so you'd getting be getting double. And so it's a good deal. 
So thanks for tuning in, guys. I appreciate you guys. Have a great day. Bye.